also this venture factor. We have been in one of the best venture cycles over the last five or six years that we've seen in the last two decades. And um, I spend my time focused on venture and I spend my time focused on emerging markets. And if I went back to 2010, there were three islands in the world that were just having a huge party. It was Silicon Valley, it was Brazil, and it was China. If I went to a conference like this in 2010 in the United States to talk about US VC or US private equity, it was a bunch of droopy dogs sitting around. We were still you know, hung over <laughs> from the financial crisis and things weren't getting better quickly. So I, I guess the sobering thing is, listen, the music is not gonna stop for venture capital, but somebody's gonna turn down the volume soon. And it's not gonna be this amazing story that's been really driven by some private market financings. Um, and it, there will be a, a shakeout. And uh, you know, I think what's, what's important about what Eric Asher did, he had a concentrated LP base that understood his strategy and will invest with him through a cycle and not run when things get difficult. And you know, for any other VC in this room, whether it's a local investor, whether it's a family office, whether it's a global institutional investor, make sure that they're, they're thinking long term. Um, um, because you know, th this venture cycle has been great for global venture markets because it's pulled everybody forward, but there will be a headwind where, you, where probably the biggest thing you can do is maintain your ground. Right? You ride this big wave when it's happening, but probably the biggest advantage you will have is when the, the, when, the, when the tide turns, maintain your ground, and then when the tide turns again to your favor, you'll, you'll, you'll benefit from it.